Hello everyone, welcome back to Pekin and Plays. Let's run forward the new Man the Guns DLC. We're back in Mexico, we're going for the Mexican Revolution with the Revolutionary Whammon. We will continue the fight against, what are you called? Mexican Republic, yeah. We kind of got into a war against the uh, Catholics versus the Atheists, but we will have our day. Luckily enough, their troops are very weak. This attack down here is just to pin them down while I can get troops to come in around them. Let's see, you're trying to evacuate now, but we're going to stop you and get you closed off in Juarez. Now I just need to get people in to actually hold this line. Please, thank you. And we'll come in around, get these guys cut off. Let's see, you're already here. Yep, cut them off, boys. Now you finish that direction. Try to cut them off there. It's possible that if I just go and take Hemosia, then that might be enough to break them. But let's uh, just hold them back now. Already executed you, but your daily change is actually very low. Good. We're going for the communist path. We can go for Solideras. Women can become pilots. Uh, international struggle, which would give us Lindley's limit, volunteer limit, and sending volunteer force. Okay. Wait a minute. How is that civil? Oh, no, no. Oh, Republican Spain. Sorry. Uh, I can't help you. Doing my own thing. Let's see. What do we need to do here? We can... Oh, yeah, we can still do this. Try and forward the Castristas. State education. Hell yeah, brother. Down to engineering school. That, that'd be pretty good. But then again... Hmm. Coastal defense plan for Nord. Uh, what do I need for that? Hispanic or Bolivian alliance? I'll probably go for the Bolivarian. Down to march southwards. I want to unify Centro America. That is my plan. But, let's see. National Bank can give us grants and whatnot. Military budget. Oh, there's just so many things to do in this international struggle. Could be nice. 35 days. Control the army. Base stability. We could get it and then enforce this. Versus repeal, triumph over the custody stress. Ash national spirit, atheist state versus weak church. Uh, or weak church, and that would, someone would become a general. I'm fine with that. Control the army, because we're bringing them down, so we should take control of the army, I would think. As for us, bring out there, bring them out. New brigades, but that'll do, and that'll do. We just need to make sure that they can hold the line. Oh, the line. Love isn't always on time. So yeah, you're just gonna need to hold there for a bit. Down through here. Yeah, these troops. You only need to come through to here. And help out in the bringing down of those soldiers. Although if we can destroy them at Hamoseria, that would be best of all. Keeping them pinned. I don't like having to fight in the mountains. Definitely not preferable. But it's what we gotta do, just to hold them steady for a bit. You, you're free. Down to Hemosra. And Tijuana is their new capital in Baja, but that will fall fairly shortly. These troops are all fallen. We could take Juarez, but it's more likely that the war... Yeah, there we go. We took the six states that we needed. Now, all of these troops, specifically all of the brigades, break them off. They need to get back onto doing what they do best and guard the coast. As for us, excavation could be good, since it's still pretty early on. Yeah, there. I don't think we should be suffering any more civil wars. We already beat back the general's coup by arresting him. After a time, but we arrested him eventually. Lost half of our troops just to that war alone, but hey, you yeah, know, things happen. You guys go to the area around Mexico City, deal with that. We can stop putting that out and start putting out proper divisions be brought out in time. That'll be fine. Thank you. Go ahead. Special resources. We can. That's fine. It's fine. Go to the army. What do we say now? Because church power seems okay. Prosecute the clergyman. Reconciliation committee. Hmm. Versus attend public mass. No, thank you. Pardon the fighters. Uh, no, thank you. So the army's done. We can apparently take something. Anti-fascist raids. Well, we are going communist. And the fascists are pretty high. Ooh, due to change in other political parties. I think that's because, yeah, non-aligned is going very far down. And you are coming up and... Oh, no. You're... Oh, okay. We are currently non-aligned. We don't... Technically, we don't like that the, PMC, the PCM is coming up so fast. But really, we do. 
enforce the Caius laws, triumph over the custody instruments. In a literal sense, we have done that, so I think that makes sense for us. Over here, I don't think the Republicans are going to be able to hold out. Even with my help, it's not looking good for them. I think that they are the lost cause of Europe. We need to focus on the new world and the new world order. Let's keep going. I have put out my fleet. You know, so they're out here now. I can apparently upgrade this ship. Your Earl, the uh, Niklos Bravo class. I suppose I can look into that. Sure, what's this about? The Durango class. Apparently the Nicholas Bravo class doesn't even exist. So what is this Durango class? And I can show outdated, which is, there it is, the Nicholas Bravo. What's the main difference? You are cheaper. Hmm. No, I don't want to do that. I want to see what makes it so interesting. The Nicholas Bravo class. You have pretty standard stuff, I suppose. Then the Coastal Defense Ship class. The Rango class. Also very similar, except I think there's an anti-air unit on this one, where there is none on this one. Yeah, okay, so that's the difference. Gotcha. Yeah, I can send you back. Improve, refit the ship to the Durango class, please. That'll take seven days to complete and take up some dockyards. Okay, not bad, not bad. I like that, I like how that works. You get sent home, and you'll refit for seven days. I like that. Enforce the Cayes laws. I don't know what that means. Yeah, get rid of the foot soldiers and also triumph over them. Many talented individuals rose to the top during the anti castillo campaigns, fighting insurgents with small unit tactics and aerial support. Give our generals an excellent opportunity to test their abilities. Repression campaign also let us see. Stomach of the Messier work. Yes, indeed. We had to find another civil war. Oh, Chinese front. Oh, God. Everything is happening at once. So we got the wars out here. Hindenburg disaster. Hmm. You aren't at war yet, but you're going for it. They just formed the United Front early. You n uh, it's only China, Communists, and Guangxi at the moment. Or, hey, you call the Guangxi. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Want to send some Mexican fighters to go and fight over in China? <laughs> against the fascist pig. I could go for some light tanks. I could go for some light tanks. I'm really going to be interested to see if they're going to port over all this naval rework into, say, changing up the tank system or the airplane system. I'm really interested to see what they do with all these new improvements. So you, yeah, we've got better guns now. We'll arm our people with the best guns possible. Bung Shang-Chi joins. Good. Now you, go ahead and get this guy. We did lose pretty much half of our army. Sabe San Ma. Nice, nice. I need to make you that symbol again. Just because. What are we constructing? Okay, some... I see. Not a bad plan, not a bad plan. A lot of our nation is coastal, but I'll build up a whole bunch of civilian factories. We're playing the long game at this point. I don't think we'll be getting into any more civil wars. Question mark. Quite the achievement. Let's see, this is game-based stability, and this is game-based war support and army experience. Hmm. Yeah, assassinate a traitor. That's what they get. That's what you get. That's just what you get. Hmm. If we go for anti-fascist raids, that'll bring down fashion support, which... There's your purchases. There's Japan. Triumph of the Castaristas is done. We can go for state education for an extra research slot. Hell yeah. I always go for them. I always go for them. Fine. Oh, Prince of Terror. Pablo Gonzalez Garza. Yes, please. And he was a general now. We have Escobar already in. I thought he was said he could be a general. Mm, wait, there he is. Pablo Gonzalez Garza. Ah, so you have a portrait here, but you don't have a portrait there. Eh. I wonder if they're going to fix that at any point. End of the Spanish Civil War. Maybe this is just like not good enough quality to put onto the portrait. Marco Bridge incident is done. The war is already on. You? Funny that I can uh, ask for docking rights to a nation with no, no ports. 
Mm, Yunnan has finally joined. Good. That's you, you, you. I think that is all of them, except for Xinjiang. Well, Beijing has already fallen. Let's see. Oh, a lot of Shanxi has already fallen. I want that state education, though. So, it's very important to me that we get state education. So you can uh, go deal with that. It's not my problem. Also, we do have quite the issue of actually issuing our troops. I can get some early war tanks. Oh, I should probably at least put these in here. And early war bomber. I don't think we'll be going for a pair of troopers. There's Sinkyang. About time, Sinkyang. About time. Japan versus China. Let's hope China can hold out. China. Soviet Union, you have it sent to Guangxi. An odd choice. Are they going communist? The Guangxi click? Not really. And uh, yeah. Surprised you don't want to help out the communists. Grand Batare. Everyone is going through their historical focuses at the moment. Hmm. Anything here I could do? We could ban fascism. We could ban fascism. Now, what? Uh, we can go for communist revolution. Hmm. Revolution against Diaz has turned to a true social revolution that will resolve in the contradictions of capitalism by abolishing production or exchanging the ushering of new way of living. So, mm, do that. More than 40%. Revolutionist Republicans. Exiled revolution. Oh, becomes the leader of the Communist Party. Yes. I want that Leon Trotsky. I want that fat boy. I'll take this. And I will take your entire... Ooh, what should I get next? What should I get? Some anti-tank. Could be very important when coming up against America is having some anti-tank. Because America, they're not going to stay weak forever. They are not going to stay weak forever. Hmm. What should I do with my army experience? I could add in... Support anti-air. But add in... Mm, not sure, not sure. I would like to make sure that China doesn't completely fall. Although I have <laughs> been avoiding it. I, I could just go ahead and do it, but... Shadow of Caius, I need to uh, have Hefe Maximal. Theorist. Military theorist. Superior firepower theorist. Heroic military college. I could go for... Oh, I can't even go for these because I need... Nash I need to nationalize the oil fields, of course. It's, so, it's important. Jose Gonzalo Escobar. Versus strategic bombing versus army regrouping versus just infantry attack. That sounds pretty good. But what about civilian up to partial? There we go. You guys are out. Bring them in. What about... Yeah, just uh, join up with the main force. Main force also take on a different color. I don't I don't want that color. That color's a bad color. Don't like it. Wonder what will happen to my only field marshal after we kick him out of office. With the communist revolution. And oh Japan keeps pushing. They're starting to take Shandong Peninsula as well. Oh boy. Once you start getting out of these hills in the north, things can get a little bit tricky for China. As for us. What are we doing? You're still refitting. I thought you were supposed to take five days. It's been a lot longer than five days. Communist revolution. The ugliest, ugliest flag in the whole game. But you know, yeah, I guess it works. Apparently it's supposed to be some reference to like a, a the communist party of Mexico. But it just, it looks bad. And also, it kind of stifles growth. Because what if I, you know, exceed these bounds? Now this flag doesn't match anymore. Doesn't match my country's boundaries. But hey, that's fine. We need to go for international struggle versus soldaderas. Yeah, international struggle. Ooh, women suffrage. I gotta give the women the right to vote. We'll go for international struggle to help out in China. Assuming we even can. I don't know if we could, but we'll try. We'll do what we can, we'll do what we must. Decisions available. Anti-fascist raids. Oh yeah, I, have, I didn't ban fascism. It's been, I've been meaning to. But you know, so long as 
We keep pushing up. We should be fine. Leon Trotsky is in power. Soviet Union, eat your heart out. I'm feeling you probably don't like me. Trotsky, rec Trotskyite wreckers. Yeah. You will face me in battle. Oh, good. Six days until our fuel is finally full up to capacity. International struggle. Commie China. I could send you one. Okay. Good to know. The people of Mexico will fight. We will send reassignment duration, promotion cost, politically connected. All of these are terrible. But I'll send you because you're not going to be able to be reassigned. Estado Mayor Presidencial. Okay. So the state's presidential division will go off and fight in the wars. Ma'am. Uh, air volunteers is unnecessary. I can all, I can send pretty much everyone one division. I just keep breaking off some of my units. You will join up and you will go to China. Send him. Then Shangxi Chang. No, it's not the Shangxi Chang Quo. Just Shangxi. Send him. Hmm. Need to keep making one division units. My entire army will be sent off. Because that is just how it is done. I wonder if I will fall below the limit by doing all this. And, oh, wait. I should give you an army. I should give you a commanders. All of you. Deserve commanders. They got good hats. I, will, I won't lie. They got good hats. So that was your force. Guangxi. Would... Be you, you none would be you, and Zebe should be that. That should be everything. Yeah, boy. Yeah. There goes my entire army. <laughs> Revolutionary class war, proletarian class army. Let's give women the right to vote because we can. Next election is actually 1940. Oil workers strike. Outrageous exploitation. Is unethical and must end. The oil workers unionized in 1935 with the blessing of President Cardenas, creating the Sindico, Sindicato Unica de Trabajadores uh, Petroleros. Petroleros. They immediately began trying to negotiate higher wages and better working conditions, but were being buffed by the powerful international oil firms like Dutch Royal Shell and Standard Oil of California. The Matter passed through the arbitration committee and eventually went to the courts and with the burning question began whether the oil firms could afford the higher wages. According to the recent investigations, Mexican subsidies are even more profit than oil companies in the United States, but still refused to come to an agreement with their workers. It seems that they have been backing the powerful regional strongmen. Outrageous, this exploitation must end, of course. Where is nationalize the oil fields? Oh, here it is. Oil field expansion, so we're gonna have to go through. It's, yeah, here we go. Agricultural banks done down. That'll be the plan. We don't necessarily need to break out into too much infantry. Uh huh. I have a. L yeah, there we go. Now, if only all these forces could just realize that they're effectively fighting the same war. It is cheesy as hell, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So you, you landed in Yunnan. If only, please, please, please. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a lot of tiny little offensives. So yeah, uh, what you can do is just bam in Yunnan. You also get, well, get the Nanjing. We'll defend in Nanjing will be our thing. Oh God, you're already here. You have to defend in Tijuan. You will have to also defend in this region. They're a bit too close for comfort. And then you will come up and defend in Nanjing. That'll be the plan there. Go and defend. We will defend these nations. Need to make sure we can defend their capital. Hmm, you're all going to Shanghai, but what if I told you that Shuzhou, also pretty important. Hmm, 
Yeah, maybe just get... Eh, come on, come on. Which army are you? Hmm. I don't know... Ah, oh, come on. Deal with it. Uh-huh, yeah. Right there, please. I knew. I'm aware. It would be nice if these guys all realized that I was fine for them. What if instead of sending it to a nation, you send it to a faction? So that, first off, I can't do this uh, cheesy strat of... Can I go there? No, I would have to move in. So first off, I couldn't even do this cheesy strat of uh, sending my troops to literally every corner in the war at once. Uh, and also, I might have a bit of a harder time doing it. So you send it to a faction leader. I guess it wouldn't help if uh, there isn't a faction, but, you know, it do what it do. You need to make sure this line doesn't break an engine. Uh, oh, you are completely surrounded. Okay. Anschluss of Austria has already happened. Get me out of this. Oh, that's a tiny, tiny sliver of hope. And any troop that gets stuck in the Jinan pocket, not gonna have a good time. What if we tried to push in through this way? Feeling we probably wouldn't have a good time. We got tanks though. The more we can keep them in these hills, the better. Just need to defend the capital with my troops. Might be better just to put them exactly where I want them. Hmm, try to go there. Try to cause problems for them, that's all I can really ask. I know we're past 20 minutes, but we're seeing what we can do. Uh, okay, that's not necessary. Get and defend the lines, get and defend the lines. You guys are already in. It's definitely gonna look silly. Mm. You can't do nothing about it. You're there, okay. We kind of stopped the bleeding there. These troops are going to have to die. It's a bit of an unfortunate fact of life there. Oh no, oh no. That might be something with that my troops can do. Because why did China abandon literally every single one of its ports? I'm going to see what I can do about that. But with that, I'm going to actually end the video here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.